And this next fight, this is an awesome fight here. I'm looking forward to this one. Leron Murphy versus Gabriel Santos. Leron Murphy is undefeated, and he probably should be fighting a bigger name opponent. He originally was scheduled to fight Nate Landwehr, and then he was going to fight Nathaniel Wood. I think it was both on different cards, but both fighters couldn't make it to the fight, and Murphy really wanted to fight in his home country, so he decided to jump on this card and take on a UFC newcomer, even though... He's already unbeaten through four UFC fights. I mean, it's a big risk for Murphy, but the way he's been looking lately, I'm sure he's confident. Hasn't fought in a while either, so maybe he just needs to get in there and uh, get the job done. It's been almost a year and a half since he's fought. And he had a tough test getting through a veteran in Douglas Silva de Andrade. And then in his last fight, he knocked out a good grappler in Mako and Amir Khani. So 31 years old, it's a small worry with the layoff, but he has been looking really good. And Gabriel Santos, he stamped himself as one of the best Brazilian prospects, in my opinion, in January when he took out another really good Brazilian fighter in Jose Delano to win the LFA title. And now he's getting his shot in the UFC. He's 26 years old, fighting out of a really good gym in Evolucao Muay Thai. He's undefeated at 10-0. And he's been fighting some high-level competition. He's taken out most of them as well. This is going to be his first fight outside of Brazil, and by far... The biggest stage he's ever been on. All the lights are on. So it's time to see if Santos is going to shine or dimmer. But he's already won a title in a pretty major promotion. And he's definitely ready for this moment. For Leron Murphy, he's an explosive power puncher. Wide-bladed stance. Likes to bounce in and out of range. Uh, can switch stances. Pretty light on his feet. In this fight, I think he has to get on the calf kicks early. He has good calf kicks. And needs to up the volume with them in this fight. Because... Santos is going to be coming with that pressure and heat. And Murphy has big power in his right cross. He has nice jab, double jab twos. Sometimes he can get a little bit wild, throw big overhands and really get wide. And he's still a little bit green in my opinion. But his athleticism and power make up for a lot of his deficiencies. And the speed and volume is going to be on the side of Santos. So Murphy must level the playing field with his leg kicks and then utilize that power. And Laurent Murphy is not a wrestler or a grappler, but... He's proven to be proficient in those areas. Sometimes he will look for takedowns. I don't think he's going to do that in this fight, but his takedown defense is okay. He's hard to hold down, though, and his ability to reverse and get on top and then throw thunderous ground and pound has been shown in multiple fights. And he knocked out a couple fighters from the top position. So when he gets on top of you, that's a bad spot to be in. And he does tend to give his back, though. And if he gets taken down by Santos, he could be in for a tough time. Cardio-wise, Murphy is well-conditioned. He could push a high pace. For his opponent, Gabriel Santos, pressure fighter. He has aggressive striking, stands tall, marches guys down behind the jab, the one-twos, big right hands, good body puncher. He um, does a good job of finding that liver. That's how he finished his last fight. And he has fast kicks with the rear leg to all parts of the body. Stays very active with the kicks on the outside. When fighters get on the inside, he has nice spinning attacks. He'll look for the counter hooks. His hands are fast, but in the pocket is somewhere where it's going to be real interesting. He's a good brawler, but it's very dangerous in this fight against a power puncher like Murphy. And Santos does stand heavy on his lead leg. He's had issues with leg kick defense, so that's something that Laurent Murphy could also pinpoint. I have seen Santos dropped before in fights, and kind of get caught getting out of position attacking uh, with spinning attacks. But he came back to win, so he's super tough and durable, and he can battle through really bad adversity. He's improving his striking as well. His last fight, he was switching stances. He was much more composed, and he's improving his hands. He's using his defense a lot better as well. He used to have a tendency to drop his hands. His guard is a lot better now. His head movement still isn't great, and that's why Murphy has a chance to clip him in this fight. But I do think Santos is the better overall striker. He's going to be faster throwing a more diversity of strikes, higher volume of strikes. And Gabriel Santos is probably going to try to get this fight to the ground as well. He's He is a, isn't a great wrestler, but he's strong, athletic. And when he backs first to the fence, he'll shoot in and get, it, get in on the takedowns. When he gets it to the ground, he's an elite grappler. He has tremendous control. Very aggressive with his, with his passing. His back takes are extremely fast. Great back control. He'll attack arm bars and rear chokes. And uh, usually he finishes fights when he gets to the back. And when he gets on top against any opponent, they're in submission danger. And probably at minimum going to lose that round. He's very fast twitch. 
But he's proven he can go five rounds. His cardio is good. He could push a super high pace. And I'm going to go with the upset here. I'm going to go with Gabriel Santos. I'm a LaRon Murphy fan, and he has a puncher's chance in any fight. But in this fight, unless he can get his leg kicks going early, I just think the pressure, the volume, the speed, the kicking and punching technique of Santos, his ability to hit the takedowns is better. Grappling, his back control are all something that he could use against Murphy to win the fight. I also like the fact that he just fought in January. He won as an underdog in a fight for a title in a pretty big pressure spot. Laurent Murphy hasn't fought in a year and a half. He, like I said, is a little older, 31 years old. Um, so I just think Santos, as an underdog, has a really good shot to pull the upset here, and I'm going to pick him to win via decision. I think he's just going to be a little bit more diverse, a little bit higher volume, and be the superior fighter in this matchup.